What's up YouTube? Gene13 back with another shoe review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bait New Balance 574 Cobra Commander. Before we get into the shoe, a little bit about the history and the release. So a few weeks back, Bait announced that they will be doing a collab with New Balance. Uh, the collab consisted of two shoes, the New Balance H710 and the 574 models. The H710 is based on the character Roadblock. I did not pick up that shoe. Uh, the upper of that shoe is mainly desert camo with hits of navy blue. I am not a fan of that model, although I did like the colorway. I just don't like that model because I think it's more like a boot, um, not really a summertime shoe for me. However, I did like the 574 model, which is the Cobra Commander, so that is the one I picked up. All right, let's get into the shoe. So, the upper mainly suede here. This material, I believe, is a suede with a painted on snakeskin print here. You have the New Balance logo with the silver lining going around. You have your white midsole with the silver snakeskin paint here. You have a translucent red outsole. Uh, the shoe itself is pretty good quality. You have a embroidered Cobra logo right here on the heel. New Balance logo on the heel as well. The tongue is leather on the back. You have this suede tab here. And you have the Cobra logo right there. You can see that. You also have the 574 logo right there. The front of the tongue is suede. I have to say the quality of the suede is pretty good. You also have hits of suede. The inner liner here is a leather material, pretty good quality. As you can see on the insole here, you have the Cobra logo, the Bait logo, and the New Balance logo, which is pretty cool. Uh, the shoe did come with three different sets of laces. You had your red laces as well as the silver or gray and the navy blue laces. I personally prefer the silver laces. Um, the shoe was pictured with the red laces. Let me know which one you guys prefer. I think I'll be wearing mine with the silver. Another cool feature of the shoe is that it did come with two uh, Dubrays here. One says bait, the other New Balance. It's a pretty nice touch. Overall, my thoughts on the shoe is uh, it's a good shoe. Nothing too special, not you know too crazy about it, but I think it's a dope concept. I will be wearing it. Uh, one thing about this shoe that kind of throws me off, if anyone wears anything bigger than the size 11, I think the 574 model looks a little odd because of the toe box. It is very rounded. That kind of throws me off a little bit. It looks good if you have smaller feet, but if you're a size 12 like me, um, the rounded toe box, you know, kind of throws it off a little bit. Uh, but like I said, it's a decent shoe. I like it. Um, I will wear it. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know which laces you preferred. If you got a chance to purchase the shoe, um, what you think of the shoe. One thing uh, that Bait I think does really, really well is their customer service is beyond good. They uh, they always communicate with all their customers. Uh, I purchased most of their releases. I got the Splash Cities, the Misfits, the Cruel Worlds. I've been buying their releases all the time. Um, I always seem to win the raffles. And like I said, anytime there's any little issue, I email them. They get right back to me within minutes. I had an issue where I did win a uh, raffle, but the link wasn't working. I emailed them. They got back to me right away. Very helpful. Made sure I was all set. Make sure, you know, made sure I got the link to the shoe. Make sure the purchase was all there. So fantastic customer service. And I think that's one of the things that really keeps me coming back um, to get their shoes because their customer service is really good. Never had any issues with them. Like I said, the shoes are always really dope. They have good concepts at, over at uh, Bait. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've purchased shoes from Bait and if you like their collabs. 
Alright guys, stay tuned for more shoe reviews. Peace.